Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I attempted to make a garden bed. The first attempt at a traditional square garden bed was a bit of a fail, so we adjusted our measurements and made a U-shape instead. This is the first of a series I will be doing on my channel called My Garden Diary, where I document my success and my failures as a beginner in gardening. So I hope you enjoy. Let's jump right in. All right, it's recording, ready? Okay, hold it still. You got it? Yeah. Good job. Okay, now me and Shane are gonna go over. Can you see your foot? Well, can I put the button yet? A <laughs> uh, wood button, Ashley? Yeah, that's perfect. Once it goes up, yeah. then we can put in really strong screws that'll go through both this board and into this. Okay. For now, just to get them like temporarily on, we'll put in a screw that doesn't go quite all the way through. Got it, okay. We have a portion of the yard where we want to start putting our garden beds. And I knew I wanted the garden bed to be a little bit larger. And we were originally going for a large square bed. So we started by cutting the wood pieces. Now the large wood pieces I had cut for me at Home Depot because they were a little large and I felt uncomfortable cutting them with my miter saw. The wood pieces that I'm cutting here, however, are the posts. I did get long pieces of wood and I cut 18 inch posts for the inside. So these really large pieces of wood, these were cut already from Home Depot. This is Shane. He's going to be helping me with this project because this was not a one-man job and honestly I could not have done this on my own. I was determined to be as hands-on as possible and really see what it took to make one of these but it was a little bit of a challenge especially with the shape we ended up choosing. So right here I'm basically drilling holes and then we together went back and forth drilling the screws into the four corners as you can see here. So the posts were drilled into the larger pieces of wood. Then we're just gonna bring the other large pieces of wood around to create a square. So at this point, this is where we realized, hmm, maybe our measurements are off because this is a little large. I'm not gonna be able to reach into the middle if I want to garden, unless I put a large tree in the middle, which wasn't really what we were going for. So after seeing that we felt the bed was a little bit larger than what we wanted. We decided to troubleshoot. We thought of a few different ideas and we ended up landing on rethinking our shape of the bed and creating a U bed, which was gonna be a little bit more challenging because we had to get a few more pieces of wood and adjust our measurements. Now, I will have all the measurements listed below along with our diagram, but I do just want to let you know, neither of us knew what we were doing. This was our first time doing this. So this was more of documenting the process and kind of sharing with you how it went down, not necessarily a tutorial tutorial because it's hard to re-explain how we did this but what we're doing here is basically drilling the posts into the new pieces of wood with our new measurements. So we cut the long piece of wood we originally had on the one side and now we have a u-shape we had to dig some holes push it into the ground and make sure it was level so there was a lot that went on here in the sense that um, we wanted to make sure all the holes were the same depth and that when we put the garden bed in there it was level so we just used a leveler to make sure even though it took several days to figure this out i ended up really loving the u-shape i think it's going to be really fun to have a garden in that garden bed the next thing that i had to do was lay down mesh because we do have a little bit of a gopher problem and the gophers like to dig under and eat from the roots so if you don't have something under there they will destroy your garden and that's kind of the tricky thing with farming or gardening and as we're just barely starting really we're realizing it's very hard to have an organic garden with all the pests and bugs and gophers trying to eat all your stuff so we put mesh down and what was originally a garden bed fail turned out okay I think you know it's not professional but it turned out pretty cool and I like the shape so next I had to fill the garden bed up with some soil and we happened to have some organic soil in a garden bed that we weren't using on the other side of our property so I just moved that with a wheelbarrow over here I have some more soil that we put on that I didn't film yet and we're also prepping the soil right now. We actually haven't even started planting anything yet. There's not much we can plant right now, maybe some garlic, some kale. Besides prepping the soil, the next thing that I'm gonna do is seedling. So maybe that's what episode two will be about and I can continue to share with you guys my journey and hopefully we have some organic produce at some point in the near future. So anyway, that completes this U bed. At first it was a little bit of a fail, but I think it turned out okay. So hopefully it was interesting to watch. <laughs> yes. No. Okay. Wow. I just want to see if you can do this or if I'm crazy. I just want to see. Like it's eating. Yeah, sucker. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> why? Why? <laughs> I'm just making up some songs. Dude. Oh my gosh, this <laughs> is like, too cute. He's like, what's going on? Ozzy, I can't work! I can't work under these conditions! Man, I got a splinter. Awesome. Dude, I told dude, that splinter's legit! And I just pulled out like a boss. Wow, I need to go to the gym more.